Okay, we're going to do the compass calibration on the unique Q500 4K quadcopter. Here it is right here. Okay, let's look at the directions. So to start with, it tells you uh, to be out in an open field away from parking surfaces and metallic objects, buildings, or what so forth. Then you turn on the transmitter right here and allow it to boot up fully. And then you proceed to the next step. Tap the setting button on the S10 Plus. That's the transmitter. And then tap the calibration button. Choose compass option and tap it. So there's like three taps there. And then if successful, the Typhoon will beep. Return to the main screen. Mag Cali will be displayed in the mode area. Okay. Then, when the main LED status indicator flashes red and green slowly, two times per second, you have entered compass calibration mode. Pick up the aircraft and hold it flat with a nose pointed north. So you got to know where north is. We used a compass to figure that out. After five seconds, the main LED status indicator should flash red and green rapidly five times per second. At this point, uh, slowly rotate the quad. Okay, 360 degrees forward. So you're going around this way and uh, until it's flat and upright in your hands again. Okay, and then you, then you put it on like a 45. You turn it to the left and put it on the 45 and rotate it again 360 degrees. And then you kind of put it sideways to yourself and rotate 360 degrees. And then you go ahead and turn it even more 45 and rotate it again 360 degrees. And you have to do all this uh, in less than 30 seconds in order to successfully complete the compass calibration. Uh, the main power LED status indicator should be flashing red and green rapidly five times per second. Hold the aircraft as still as possible until the main LED status indicator stops blinking rapidly. And you got a thumbs up if you hear an audible indicator after the main LED status indicator stops blinking rapidly. That's it. That's the whole procedure. Okay, turning on the radio. Ready? Yep, go. Radio is on. Turning on the quad after the radio comes in. Yeah, I'm just going to turn. I believe it'll be all right. Just turn them both on. Let it boot up. Making some great sounds here. What was that? Did you get a phone yeah. call? Huh? I'm just kidding. Now. We're still on step two here. Yeah, connecting Wi-Fi. So basically, I go forward on everything. Yeah, basically you do roll forward on each one. You're just rotating the I quad. I figured out how to do it, too. Just at nose and tail. Don't try to use that thing. Those things. You're going okay, to you only have 30 okay. seconds. Okay, now, let's start this again. Okay, we're tapping the settings. Okay. And then tap the calibration button. Scroll down to calibration. Hit the calibration. Hit compass. Hit compass. And then go back out of the menu. It should go back out by itself. No, it didn't. It's as if successful. It's in, it's in Mag Cali. Yep, that's it. Mag Cali okay. in the mode area. Now we do the rotations. Fast. You got your slow, slow lights going to fast lights. Mm-hmm. You ready? I'm ready. 360, 45, and then go around these two. No. Yeah, I guess that's, that's all right. right. But you, all right. And then that way, yep, that's right. And another 45 toward yourself. And kind of like that. There's the sound. You got it. I think we got it that time. Made the sound that time. And the lights should... I don't know. Well, it's blinking. Should go out. There it is. I heard a little beep and it stopped blinking. Okay. Okay, Final. that's it. All right. Now we can put the prop down and goes blind. All right, so we put the uh, the two B props on here and here, and the two A props on here and here, and they always tighten opposite to the direction of the prop. And then there's a little wrench that comes with it that you can tighten the props up with. Should go. They say a complete revolution after it's tight, finger tight, or touches, I should say. 
There are O-rings underneath that. Yeah. So here's what the battery looks like on the unique Q500. It's really a three cell. 11.1 and 5400 milliamp hours. Now there is one that has more milliamp hours and we got 75. that. It's uh, how much? 75. 7500? So there's a 7500 model that's in the quad right now and we're going to fly that next. That's what they say. You know how that works. Yeah. It's all a matter of uh, opinion, but, uh, maybe. But I do have a CFI uh, or what it's called, CFI, something like that. CIFI or something like that. Yeah. And it is 6500. But the original, unique battery, it come with it, is 54. So you can get different brands that fit it, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Well, I understand that the C, I call, I call it CFI. I don't know what it is, but the CIFI, whatever, that battery I saw on the internet, uh, YouTube actually lasted longer than the unique battery hmm. so it's reasonable and that was the uh, 5400 version it's like it's got a uh, black looks like a black xt60 sort of no it's uh i don't know what that is oh it's the blue ones oh the ec3 or yeah yeah ec3 ec3 and then there's the balance plug what do you say dave you ready yeah i'm ready Setting the quad down, getting ready to fly on the 7500 battery. We'll move back at least 28 feet. Okay, now we've got to turn the radio on. Turn the radio on, and the quad's already on. No, it isn't. Oh, the quad's not on. Oh, got to go back. You'd think this was a walk here or there's so much walking involved. <laughs> but it's not. It's the unique Q500. You can hear the radio make that sound when he turned it on. And now it should be coming up. And there it is. It's up. RC completed. Video Wi-Fi connecting. So the Wi-Fi is connecting now. Okay. Not connected yet, yep. but it's working on it. And don't know. Still says connecting. Let's see if I lift it up. That helps. Over this way? Yeah, turn around and point it at maybe. You get far enough away, you have to point it out. Keep, keep going down. Yep, there it goes. Okay. All right, now it's up. Mm -hmm. Well, here it is. Right right there. there it is, right there. Okay, CGO3 three. Three. underscore. It see one? It's, it'll be different. Underscore, for yeah, I see it. One okay, thousand. you hit that. Okay, Wi Fi connected. Wi Fi connected. Okay. View. Heard something beep over here. Should have come up by now. Camera, here we go. There, there it is. is. Okay. Now you can see my sunglasses. That's ready to go. So now that oh, screen on the that. tablet looks like identical to this, except it doesn't have all of the uh, as much telemetry information on May it. I Turn on the camera. Which Start button? Record. Okay. That was this button right there. Right there, right. Okay. I'm gonna tap the screen. Okay, well, how many? Ready, ready. Got 13 satellites. Boy, that's quick, isn't it? Yeah. If you tap the screen twice, all that stuff goes away and you got a full screen. Oh, that's nice. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Well, well, talking okay. about this? Yeah. Suction cups. Suction cups, hold it on. Mm. Okay. Okay, I got 12.3 volts. Uh, GPS says ready. Satellite 17. Volts 12.3. The uh, radio has 11 satellites. So I and battery's going down fast on this thing. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera on. All right, starting recording. On. We're going to put it in angle mode. We're going to press the button for three seconds. It should start up. There we go. It started up. Now I'm going to take off in that mode. All right. Ready? Ready.
very quiet. It's in there anyway. I might have to zoom out. Right Boy, is that, that thing dead still? Look at that. Okay, there it is right there. Yeah. All right. That's good. Okay, I'm recording now, so I'm going to go up and... Uh... Going up. It's doing beautifully, though. I hope I can get that recording from the camera. It'll be interesting to see, so... I guess it's probably looking at us now, yep. Yeah, can you see it, Dave? I can see it on the screen, yeah. It's at us now. Doing a selfie. <laughs> no way. All right. Cool. It's looking straight down. Yeah, I can see it. Real slow. It's one of those things where you have to get used to it. Very steady though, and I got it in frame now, and it's hanging steady. This is definitely an aerial photography machine. Very smooth. And uh, the camera's going out of focus. Can't see anything. Oh, I'm gonna get up here and see what you're doing. I'm gonna go up and get some. Uh... See, that's what I'm seeing, which is basically nothing. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> it's just all glare. The camera won't pick it up at all. Yeah, I'm going to go up a little higher now. And... What's my this needs a box around 10. it. 10.9. see what we got here. don't have any boxes. If it had a... It'd have to be totally inside an enclosed box where I could stick the camera through a hole. Wow, it's way up there. Yeah, I'm getting a panoramic now. Notice how panoramic the horizon is on this? Absolutely. A wide field with a nice flat horizon. Yeah, you were scaring me with that flyaway business. Uh, no, no. Fall down. You're not <laughs> supposed to start it out in smart mode. But like I said, I've got to get used to everything. You know, it just takes a while. You were trying to flip it all around, and every time you pushed forward on the stick, it would go further away. Yeah, right. <laughs> you know, smart scary. mode is crazy. So where is that button? Huh? On the right-hand side right up here. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, you were scaring me with that flyaway business. Uh, that no, no. Fall down. You're not supposed to start it out in smart mode. But like I said, I've got to get used to everything. You know, it just takes a while. There it is, smart, angle, and home. You got home, return home too. Go. Okay. okay, doing return to home. Return to home, switch flipped. Boy, it didn't waste any time. And it's it? flying home quick. And it's going in for a landing. And my battery warning sign came up for my camera saying I'm out of battery. But it did a good return to home. Keep your light.